Hi, my name is Milind Oak. I am a Senior Analytics Specialist Solutions Architect focusing on Amazon Redshift and today we will be writing our first query in Query Editor V2. For this demo, we will be analyzing consumer complaints data to identify three findings. Number one, by company type, get the earliest and latest complaint data, the number of complaints and how they were submitted for a particular state. Number two, the top 10 states by total number of complaints received overall. And number three, the preferred medium for submitting these complaints across all states. I have prepared this data as parquet files and is ready for us in this S3 bucket. Let's use Query Editor V2 and Redshift Serverless where it is quick to get started from loading data to running queries within minutes. Query Editor V2 also provides visualization for query results and easy collaboration with your teammates to share your work. Let's start with Query Editor V2. Let's start by going to our Redshift service and with Redshift I have already configured a default namespace and a default work group for our exercise today. Let's begin by querying data which will launch us directly into Query Editor V2. I have prepared a notebook with all the queries which we require for our exercise and this notebook is available under My Notebooks. Currently it is not shared with anyone but sharing a notebook is also very easy by right clicking on it and just select, select share with my team and now this notebook has been shared by me with, with my team. My team has been set up under the IAM for my role. We need to set up a tag SQL workbench dash team and a value. So currently anyone who has team 0102 will get access to the notebooks that were just shared. Coming back to the editor, let's connect to our serverless endpoint with the federated user. Once the connection has been established, let's execute the first set of queries which will create the table for loading our consumer complaint data. Let's examine the results. The table has been created and now let's load the data from our S3 location to the table. The data has been loaded and let's see a sample of the data from our consumer complaints table. This is how the data looks. We have data received, product, sub-product, issue, sub-issue. Let's go and begin our first finding for each company to get the earliest and latest complaint date, the number of complaints and how they were submitted for a particular state. Notice I have specified the state as a parameter and that's with the dollar curly braces. Let's run this query. It prompts for a value. I'm going to provide NY just because I am from NY and let's run the parameter value has been accepted and now we should be seeing data for New York by company the complaint count submitted via earliest and latest. Creator V2 also allows you to export uh, the data set so I can select export as JSON format and the file has been downloaded or export as CSV format and you will see the CSV file is available on my desktop. Let's go on to the next step and identify the top five states. Uh, let's run the query again and you see these top five states have been populated. I can also convert this to a chart and Redshift uh, Creator V2 has populated the state and the uh, complaint count. Uh, we can easily add uh, a title, say complaints by state. I'm going to say top five complaints by state. The y axis is the number of complaints, and the x axis is the state. Now, this again can also be easily exported to a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, this is available for, for sharing. Let's try to analyze the third piece, which is how complaints are being submitted across various states. Let's run this, the SQL and this provides a listing where we see various states, how they have been submitted and complaint count. Let's draw a chart out of this and I want a, a pie chart 
let's use the complaint count as the values and the label by how it was submitted so with this we can see that most of the complaints have come in over the web and then the next popular is phone and postal mail etc few other things i want to highlight over here which is the account settings from here you can choose the maximum concurrent connections uh, default is 10 you can change that as you see fit the allow export results you can uncheck this and exports cannot and you will not be able to export data from query editor v2 also we have a show sample databases right now it is unchecked let me toggle it back on and once these settings are saved we should be able to see sample databases when we refresh that now you see the sample database under which you have uh, some TPC data, TPCH data and ticket data for easy querying. So we have demonstrated how easy it is to get started with query editor v2 using Redshift serverless. But note that all of these features that we saw are also available when you use Redshift query editor v2 with a provisioned cluster. Once again, this is Melin Oak. Thank you for your time.